Grade 6 math, number 4.1, model fraction multiplication. When we multiply fractions by fractions, we make smaller parts. 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 times 1 over 4 times 2. That will equal 1 eighth. See? When we multiply whole numbers by fractions, we combine the parts. 3 times 1 fourth is 3 times 1 over 4. It's 3 fourths. See, when we multiply a whole number by a fraction, we're throwing the whole number up on top of the numerator and we're multiplying it. See? When we multiply a fraction by a fraction, we're just multiplying the numerators to each other straight across and the denominators to each other straight across. If we had a pie and it was cut into eight pieces and five people each eat one eighth of the pie, what fraction of the pie was eaten? Well, they each ate an eighth. There were five of them. Five times one eighth is five eighths. It would be like counting one eighth five times and adding them up. When we do a whole number times a fraction, we throw it up on top of the numerator, multiply it, and slide the denominator over. See that? It's five times the one eighth. Five of the eight pieces were eaten. Five parts out of the eight parts were in eaten. So, when multiplying fractions by fractions, you multiply the numerators to each other and go straight across, and then you multiply the denominators by each other and go straight across. When we multiply whole numbers by fractions, we multiply the whole number by the numerator and slide the denominator across to the answer. See? Two-thirds of a pie was eaten yesterday, and today Emma ate half of the remaining pie. So how much of the total pie did she eat? Well, the pie was cut into three parts, into thirds. One, two, three. And the last third, she only ate half of it. There was one third left, and she ate half of the third. So, you do one third times half to cut it in half. One times one over three times two. See? She ate one-sixth. Half of one-third is one-sixth. When we cut each one-third in half, we create smaller pieces and more of them. Here's a third. If we cut it in half, it's now cut into sixths. See? Here's the third. If we cut each of these in half, they would be twelfths. If we cut each twelfth in half, it would be twenty-fourths. See how the denominator just doubles? If we had a box with 16 parts and seven of the parts were filled, we'd have seven times one sixteenth. It would be like putting the seven up on top of the numerator and multiplying and sliding the denominator over. Seven times one over 16. If we had a bar split into seven parts and four of the parts were filled and we multiplied it by a half, we'd be cutting the four sevenths in half, two sevenths and two sevenths. 4 times 1 is 4, 7 times 2 is 14, we divide both by 2 to reduce it to its lowest terms, and it becomes 2 sevenths for each side. See? If we have a circle cut into 5 parts, and we multiply each of the 1 fifth times 3, that's 3 times 1 fifth, or 3 times 1 over 5, it's 3 fifths. If we have a circle cut into eight parts, and we multiply one of the eighths by half, we cut it in half, it they each become two sixteenths, a sixteenth and a sixteenth, see? One sixteenth and one sixteenth makes two sixteenths, that makes one eighth when you add them. So one eighth times a half would be one sixteenth. It's the one times one over eight times two, one sixteenth. If we had two-thirds of a box filled in, one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, and we had two-thirds of them filled in, and we multiplied the two-thirds times a half, we're pretty much just cutting that box in half like that, see? And then here's the half of the two-thirds. We've now created six, see? So two-thirds times a half is going to be two-sixths. 
going to be these two little parts out of the six. See? I hope this is going to help you do the work in the book. If not, you can just send me a, a comment and I'll try to straighten it out or clarify this uh, any more than I, than I already have. But I hope this is enough to help you do the work that's in the book. And keep plugging. You're doing fine. And I'll see you next video. Bye.